how quilting became popular in Australia. Women were given the materials and tools to make patchwork quilts en route to their Australian destination so that they could sell them and be able to support themselves when they landed. Sadly, only one of these appears to have survived, but it is clear that the British women brought with them the skills and traditions of quilting. Quilting was thought to be a suitable occupation for a lady, and the quilters soon began to put their work together at exhibitions, and a market in quilts was quickly established. The British traditions were retained, and quilting in Australia continues to respect and reflect the styles and patterns of the mother country. However, for many years, Australian families were very poor, and generally, the women were responsible for making all the bedding, as well as all the clothes and household fabrics. In the absence of money to buy good cloth, the women used their initiative. They used old sacks, old grain bags, and anything that could be used to give warmth. With luck, they would be able to find or get something to make a bed cover more attractive, and the sacks would be used as the wadding or batting. Old cloth would be cut and stitched either directly onto the batting, or as a face fabric, and whatever artistic talent the maker had would be used. Later on, it became commonplace to obtain old sample books from traveling salesmen. So many quilts were made with suit cloth, as well as old curtains, and whatever else was available. Sadly, these days Australian women tend to be too busy to do a great deal of quilting. And of course, with the much more cheaply available goods, it's now a time of buying new and throwing away the old. Not like the old days, which epitomized the make-do and mend motto. Thank you for watching another Unstoppable Intellect video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help keep the channel growing. Knowledge is power. Together, we'll make you truly unstoppable.